Hello, what's up, YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and a tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can easily remove sunburn, or maybe, for example, someone was at the beach and maybe the sun hit their skin and maybe it kind of reacted and created that kind of red color within their skin tone. So, this is going to be a very simple and easy to follow along tutorial for you guys that have this issue, and you're just going to be amazed about how you can easily fix this in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's just get started with today's story. So we're just going to get this result from looking like this to looking like this. I hope you can see that this is really better. So I'm just going to delete everything so that we can start from the very start. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to be using two adjustment layers. So the very first one is going to get it closer to what we want. And lastly, we're just going to fine tune the results even better so just come to the adjustment tool and come and look for where it says hue and saturation so when you come to hue and saturation the next thing that you want to do is you want to sample or look for the areas that have the redness of the color so for this case you can see that the real skin tone or the original skin tone is the one on the hand and part of the neck area so it's like this area is exposed maybe to a sun or maybe the reaction and it is normal. I, I don't think it is even abnormal. I think it is normal to some people that have lighter skin tone complexions. So after coming and selecting your hue and saturation adjustment layer, the next thing you want to do is coming and sampling the reds. So just come and click on the reds. And you can so when you select the reds, we have this option really open for us so what we want to do we just want to push this closer you can see that these two dots at the end just make sure that you push them closer to each other and the next thing we want to do is now targeting that color from the skin area of our model so what we want to do we're just going to come in now get this middle color picker tool or eyedropper tool with a plus icon next to it. So just come and click on it. And now we are just going to click randomly in those areas to create different samples in those specific areas. So just come and click randomly. And right now you can see that we have just sampled the areas that we want. So in order to see these sampled areas quite well or better, you can see that this is our range right now and the colors we have selected are belonging to the reds. So I'm just going to leave this open and after doing the sampling, just come to where it says saturation and now take it all the way up. So just click on it and take it all the way up. And you can see right now we have these reds really oversaturated but is affecting part of the hand so just want to fine tune that to look a little bit better and really appealing to us to work on so just come and click right here in the middle i hope you can see this let me just increase this so i hope you can see this quite well so just click in the middle right here and start moving it towards until you feel like all the reds in the image have been selected. So you can see this is leaving out some of the reds. So just make sure that all the reds have been really selected in the image. So just move it. So I think right here we are almost good to go. I feel like this is even better. So we have targeted all the reds in the skin tone of our subject. And the next thing we want to do, I'm just going to uh minimize this a little bit so the next thing that we want to do is coming and understanding what is the opposite of reds or what is the opposite of magentas on our color wheel so the opposite of magentas is the science so we want to move the reds and hew them towards at the cyan side to get rid of it so remember in photoshop every single time you're moving a color towards its opposite you're eliminating that specific color so what we want to do, we just want to eliminate the reds from this image so 
just come and move that slider towards uh, the science and and before you can do all that just make sure that you after you have made sure that you have the right range just come and uh, take back the saturation to where it is meant to be the reason for doing this is because we just want to uh, leave the image looking the way it was initially before so just come and move this towards the opposite of red which is the science so left click on it and start moving it towards the science just like that i hope you can see the effect right now and this is getting rid of the reds in the image so you can as well come and increase on the lightness if at all you wish to and you can as well slightly desaturate that color but uh, this does not get uh, the job really done and doesn't hit the nail so just want to come back and create one more adjustment layer in order to do that just come back to the hue and saturation option and this time around we're just going to come and select of course we know the color that we want to eliminate is the red so just come back to the reds and this time around we're going to do the same procedure again so just come and narrow this down and just move these closer to each other before we can target our colors so these are close to each other and now come and get back to the eyedropper tool with the plus icon and before you can do this make sure your sample size is 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five so that you can have really a precise target or a precise selection so just come and choose 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five average and now come and get this color picker tool with the plus icon and come back and sample uh, the reds so just come and look for those reds and target them or click on them to get a better sample and after doing that what we want to do is coming back to the saturation option and now moving it all the way up just like that and you can see that we still had the reds within the skin tone so just come and click in the middle right here so i'm just going to increase this slightly so click in the middle and start looking for that right range of the reds within the skin tone so that we can eliminate it even better so i'm just going to move this up to a point when i feel like i have really targeted or selected those reds that we want to eliminate from uh, the models or our subjective skin tone so just move you have to be really careful and precise so i feel like this has really targeted our reds quite well or even better so we're just going to take the saturation all the way back by double clicking right on the word and now move it again towards the opposite of red or the opposite of magenta which is the cyan side so just click on the hue and move it towards the science just like that to get rid of those reds from the skin tone and you can as well increase the lightness if at all you wish to and also play around with the saturation just a little bit so we just want to see what we have done so far for this tutorial and let's see if at all we have achieved what we wanted so hold on the alternate and click on the background layer so this is the before after before after I hope you can see that we have managed to remove uh, the reds from uh, the skin tone but remember as we are doing this it was kind of introducing a little bit of greens within the skin for example in this area so you can just come and create one last adjustment layer or one last hue, hue and saturation adjustment layer and you come in uh, come right here and target the greens and come and get uh, our color range option and just narrow it down right here and get the color picker tool and just sample this color right in these areas so i think this is fine so it was targeting the yellows rather in the skin tone so in this case the opposite the opposite of yellow is blue so just move this towards the blue side to eliminate that and before you can eliminate it remember we have just sampled the color right there 
so I just want to take the saturation all the way up and narrow that down to where we want uh, the color that is going to be eliminated so just want to eliminate that kind of yellowness within the skin tone I feel like that is fine undo this and just move this towards the blue side to get rid of that so we could as well take it this side a little bit and you can just eliminate that kind of color in that area so I feel like this is fine and just close this so let's see what we have uh, before and after so I'm just going to hold down the alternate and this is the before after before after and now we have that nice and beautiful skin tone and I've just gotten rid of the sunburn within the subjective skin so basically this is how to easily do it in Photoshop and if I told you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if I told you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating